Hello, this is Colio. Greetings, my friends. I'm playing Suikoden 3. Woo! Alright. We're on Ghetto's Chapter 3, right? Yeah, 3? Yeah, okay. I uh, had two failed intros there. Um, some loud background noise. But it's fine. It's been taken care of. Should not be an issue for the rest of this episode, I hope. Oh my goodness. That hit from Jax was beautiful. Everything's recording right, yeah? Okay. Mic's not muted. Timer's on. I feel like something's wrong. After him, two little interruptions. I also feel like there's something wrong. What button is it? Oh, there we go. Ah, I knew something was missing. <laughs> the map was gone. It's interesting. It seems like if I go into the menu and hit start, it turns the map off. So who in the world am I meeting here? It's a good question. Another sort of thunder. It's coming from the shadow dogs. Well, no, not necessarily. I think the entire area has its own loot table. is an interesting way to do it. Wow, amazing. So beautiful. That's strange. Was there a ship there? It is so long. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Ghetto. You're... You're an Ironhead. Ironhead? Oh yes, I am indeed the Zexan Knight Salome. But who is this little girl? She's... Ayla of the Cryo Clan. I'll never forgive you for what you did to my village. You burned it to the ground. That was very unfortunate. I mean, y'all did attack them too, so... Can't just throw all the blame off. Unfortunate? Is that all you have to say? The whole thing was a plan gone sour. What plan? Oh, one second. Sorry about that. Somebody at the door. Again? Yeah. What plan? Too much to get into right now. Ghetto, the information you and Wyatt sent me has been very useful. Tell me about that plan. There were those who were not in favor of the armistice between Grassland and Zexan. Just prior to the treaty being signed, the chief of the Lizard Clan was assassinated, and thus the whole thing turned ugly. We were there when the Lizard Clan chief was assassinated. We even fought against you knights. Whose plan was this then? Well, it was certainly not ours. But we saw Chris, the leader of the Zexan Knights, there as well. Chris was with us at the signing of the armistice. Even Chief Lucius saw her there. Among the enemy is someone who possesses powerful magic, the power to create illusions. Are you saying what we saw wasn't real? I've never heard of such magic. Footsteps. He's talking about the footsteps were different. What is that, Jax? The knights we saw at the Lizard Clan didn't make any sounds when they walked. No footsteps. Come to think of it, you said that at the time, so those knights weren't real. The pain we felt when we fought them sure was. After that, the Lizard Clan was in upheaval, and it shames me to admit this, but our knights went on a rampage against the Karaya Clan. This is behavior that we never allow. 
I can feel the power of someone in the shadows, even here. Then, that woman, that sorceress was responsible. Not just that a sorceress we saw near Karaya village, but also the masked bishop. I'm starting to get the picture. Yeto, I am sure that you were aware of all this. Yes, but I, I didn't come all the way out here to meet with you just so you could tell me something I already know. <laughs> Talking like a robot there. Tell me something new, Salem. Alright, if the enemy is a Harmonian bishop, we can expect an eventual ev invasion by the Harmonian regular army. If that happens, Grassland, as we know it, will be conquered in the blink of an eye. And then we'll have, uh, we have the Zexans. Yes, Harmonia probably considers us the Zexan Federation with our mere few decades of independence, as no more than an offshoot of a Grassland tribe. However, within the Council are people who are pushing us to make a secret pact with Harmonia, with the aim of splitting up Grassland between Harmonia and Zexan. Hmm. Powerful people are all like that. The greater their power, the narrower their vision. Not everyone on the council is that way, but more and more members are being swayed. We can't allow anyone anywhere to scheme up wars for their own selfish reasons. First, I'll ask the pro-Harmonian faction within the council to push for a treaty with Grasslin. Then we'll join forces with other Harmonian troops to resist the warmongers. Okay, so what do you want us to do? Come with me. Can you see the castle on the other side of the lake? Yeah? Where that ship ran aground? Yes. The master of that castle has mounted a rebellion, and we knights have been sent to suppress it. You want us to help with that? No. Exactly the opposite. I want you to support their rebellion. What do you mean? Thomas, the master of that castle, has created a free trading area within its walls for Zexan and Grassland merchant merchants. Unfortunately, the council sees this as a form of rebellion. Of course, it is those counselors seeking the pact with Harmonia who are accusing Thomas wrongfully. If they're not able to stop a rebellion at such a small castle, ah, they lose favor. The power structure within the council would likely change. I see. But we're mercenaries who work for Harmonia. If Grassland disappears, there'll be no further need for the Frontier Defense Force. I wouldn't be too happy about that. That's kind of weird lot uh, reasoning. A best return. By now, the council has probably gotten wind of my intentions. I'm impressed, Captain. You're pretty well known. There's the Lizard Clan Chief. The Cry Clan Chief, and now even one of the six mighty knights of Zexan. I've been around a while, you see. <laughs> hey, Ava, we're about to go. Uh, right. This plot. I don't understand what it means. I thought about what we should do. I'll go back to Vene Dezexe 
to get our supplies. Sure, and to flirt with more women. I'm assuming I go back to the tavern. I'm not totally certain. No, it doesn't seem like I'd have to rest. And again, well, I mean, he said he's going to return back to Venade del Zexe, right? <laughs> Do I just go straight to the Lake Castle? Maybe I will just go ahead and rest. I mean, it's not like it's gonna hurt. And then we'll just do a little sweep through the uh, through the town, see if we run into any events. I guess. It doesn't seem like it. I don't know. Maybe I just got misled there. And I'm supposed to go to Lake Castle. I'm getting slowdowns. I wonder if something's changed in the settings. Maybe that's always been there. Actually, you know what? I am really quick. Seeing as I'm here, I'm going to do that treasure boss real quick. I think it'll be there. So, yeah, I'm just going to skip right to the boss and then we'll get right back to it. So, shouldn't waste any time. Alright, and we're at the boss. Oh my god, really? Really? Nah. And I said this is going to be quick. <laughs> Maybe I should have started it when I was fighting the boss. But I kind of like the effect this has of some loaming giant golem in the background. So I'm going to show that part off, you know? It's very emotional. 
Alright, no holding back. Let's hit some furious blow. Wait, what does that do? Yeah, it just targets foes. Alright, I don't think we've seen that one. Furious blow. What else do we got? We got shield. Earthquake. Okay, why not? I have no reason to hold back at all, do I? The explosion might hurt us. I'm still not big on uh, fire magic. I think what these two will do will just be... Uh, it could just be attack. What's that do? Damage, lose balance. Uh, yeah, they're just attack. We should be fine with the two big spells. Oh, not doing a lot of damage. I'm in a dark room, so yeah, it's like a flashbang just went off. <laughs> that did some damage. Uh, do we throw some more magic at him? Yeah, why not? Some soaring bolt, bolt, and attack. He can't have too much longer, right? Ooh, that hurt. Okay, yeah, he does have a lot more health, so probably not a bad deal that I just use that spell. I don't think he'll have much more now, right? Let's <laughs> throw some kindness drops on Joker and Ace. Let's keep Joker from dying. Oh, he's using a spell. That's gonna hurt. As long as nobody dies. that was centered on the only person in the group who is injured and she's down great awesome I deserve that no I, I deserve that <laughs> kidding. Uh, I guess we'll be healing up again that takes two turns does he not have any water magic iron I don't think so I just have him for using it out of combat well, I guess I'll just attack it Maybe I should have used more lightning. Oh, just got a ton of potch. There we go. Alright, so poor queen took the brunt of the amazing fire explosion, which kind of sucked. We got some levels. Let's go ahead, go ahead and heal that up real quick. man okay I turned it down good <laughs> uh, ooh, wow is that right yeah it's like a hundred thousand potch it's mega medicine a blessed tunic there's a statue in there but not much from this one I think we're starting to get all the items out of these Blessed tunic. It's not better for anybody. Alright, well, I'm gonna head back to Zex and Forest. Alright, so we're almost out of this place, and I had something I wanted to just mention real quick that one thing that I really like about this group, Ghetto's Party, is the fact that, kind of like in that scene we saw earlier with uh, Duke's group, and how they show up and they're telling them um, but ghetto's party like responds to that they actually catch on to the fact that you know they're being told and there's a lot of things in that uh, game like that to where unlike a lot of games you see especially JRPGs they'll have kind of like an incompetent group of heroes where they're like always running into ambushes and 
Heck, that even happens in a lot of Western RPGs to where you have to play kind of like the, I don't know, the person that <laughs> falls for them simple traps a lot. And I kind of like that, like, Ghetto's group is good at what they do, right? They're mercenaries and they're constantly in the field. And it makes sense to me, right? And for somebody like Hugo, it kind of makes sense that he would fall for some traps. But then again, Hugo's also, like, he's becoming more experienced in the whole uh, combat. So even him, it seems a little off that he'd run into too many problems. Or things that he can't, you know, just slip his notice. Or gullibly walk into situations like that as a plot device, basically. Because <laughs> that's usually why those kind of things happen. And it's kind of nice. You can still have that kind of pl plot device to where, okay, well, we've got to meet this character, so they're going to try to ambush the party. But, you know, why did they have to succeed, right? <laughs> it's pretty easy to say. Oh, we found them. Uh, let's counter ambush them. And then you still get all the plot development you wanted out of it. But there may be a good reason for uh, explaining to the viewer that they are, they are inexperienced, right? And that they would fall for that kind of thing. But... It's nice to see a group that um, is the opposite of that trend. I feel like this group's gonna max out on money soon. I might... I don't know, that's a good question. It might be worth uh, looking in the shops and the rare finds and just picking up things, even if they're not better from our group, but for other... Uh, other people we've recruited. It's better than capping out on money and losing that potential. I don't know how big of a problem it'll be in this game though to outfit everybody really well. Like when it comes to the late game. <laughs> in Suikoden, yeah, the late game is when you have, uh, you know, your castle, you have a teleporter, the blinking mirror, and you can easily swap between all the party members Train them all up, get them all equipped. I could still be heading in the wrong direction, could I? <laughs> I hope I'm supposed to just head straight to Lake Castle. Oh. Oh, man. Is that the same one like what we just fought? A stone golem? Oh, my. That could be dangerous. I'm not going to hold back at all now. Like, all the spells. Whatever we have left. There's not much. I haven't rested. We brined a hog. And we're we'll using an explosion. Screw it. We're going to center it on this guy, definitely. Maybe he'll get it off without damaging the rest of the party. Or the birds will hold us off from getting too close to the explosion.
Like, Queen could die again instantly. That would suck. Well, at least all this magic's gonna hit the golem. that rap song is being picked up in the background. It probably is. My nephew plays music a little too loud in the living room instead of his own room. I don't know why. Uh, this is gonna suck. I need to heal, definitely. Uh, oh, right! I completely forgot that I had Ayla to do really good healing, actually. What else do we have? We have Berserk Bolt. 250 to a target? Is that worth it? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. That's right. Ayla has uh, not Earth Shield, which is a great thing. 200 to all, all allies. I completely forgot about that. That's like way better than water. Physical attacks just don't seem to do much at all to this guy. 114 on that. That was two people's turns. Definitely not worth that. It would have been better to have them attack. I think it's best to just use whatever magic I can. we got this is target foes allies in area Dang, I feel like this is gonna hit us if it hits us and then he hits us that's gonna hurt <laughs> even after this heal Well, only Queen will die then. I'm actually really surprised we ran into a Stone Golem like this as a rare encounter. It's a pretty tough enemy. Okay, it looks like everybody ran away from it. Though Joker was still in the impact. Just didn't take any damage. Uh, I'm gonna try and pass on healing. Hopefully Queen doesn't die. Finally. Got some levels out of it. That's nice. That's about all we can do as far as improvement right now. Unless I'm going to alter the skills up a little bit. Try and get uh, the best I can out of them. But I need to get skill points saved up quite a bit before I can do any of that kind of experimenting. So we're not too bad off. I mean, this is like an extra 2,000, an extra 26. I feel like with this, I could erase all of his skills or forget them all. 
and level up all new ones to max. Most definitely. Like, after forgetting them, I'd gain quite a bit of skill points from that as well, so... That will probably be something I do at a point. I just uh, go through and see... Oh, full defense. See uh, if there are any better skills. Like, there could be some things that... They might level up really slow, but can actually get really high. And I think as the game goes on, accuracy as a skill becomes weaker and weaker. <laughs> because, like, later in the game, I don't even think they have trouble hitting enemies. Though accuracy does help things like guarding and full defense, right? So, clearly, it's still needed. Because <laughs> they keep guarding and, yeah, blocking. Alright, well, it's been about 30 minutes and I can't get to this village. I just noticed that. That sucks. So I can even pick up parts. I bought that item for no reason. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Later.